What's up guys, right here. This is the 23rd day of Shamanic Initiation Retreat and we are going to have our ninth ceremony today. This morning we were gonna we were going to have a Vamotivo or another cleansing session with a different plant called Dragon's Blood. Um, but I decided to skip it because I was getting lots of good downloads that I wanted to write down in my journal and I wanted to spend that time journaling instead. Um, the nice thing about the, I don't know what you want to call them. Oh, the, the nice thing about the events here is that they're all optional. You're not forced to go to any of the ceremonies or any of those sessions with other plants, such as the Vamotivo with Dragon's Blood. <clears throat> I had purged so much two ceremonies ago that I didn't need, I didn't feel the need to purge this morning. And I wanted the energy to actually try to focus on my intentions for ceremony tonight, as well as integration. <clears throat> so yesterday we created something called a love bath where we use things, these different plants, such as uh, loro loro, which is a plant that means, I think, uh, two parrots, you know, loro loro. And it brings, it's supposed to bring these two parrots together. So if you use it to bathe, it's supposed to attract love. Um, there's another plant that smells really good all um, that was called um, dog's tongue. I, I don't know what the the local name for it is or the Spanish name for it. it is off the top of my head, but I do remember it was called Dog's Tongue. Um, and that smelled really good, super fragrant, super beautiful. And then there was another plant that we put in there called Scorpion's Tail. So the, apparently there's this plant that grows just outside, not 20 feet from here, where if you pluck it from the root, that root part actually looks like the tail of a scorpion and apparently you're supposed to be able to use this to if you if for example if you wanted to um you know send love to somebody specific um you can do that with accuracy kind of like a scorpion's tail and that is the that is the um, that is the reasoning behind that. And there's, there's another plant, I don't remember the name, but it was in the, the shape of a heart um, that we put in there. And that, that also smelled really good. Um, thinking about it now, what's interesting is that that dog's tongue, uh, it kind of looked like a dog's tongue, but it also kind of looked like a heart. So seems like um, this just ties back into what I've been reading, how in some cultures, specifically um, some cultures that, that live in the jungle, sometimes the remedy is in the shape of the thing that you want to achieve. For example, if, if you want to create a bath for love, then you use a bunch of plants whose leaves are in the shape. Of, of love, you know, like a heart. So that's another thing. I I learned that in the book, but then I also am learning that in real life here um, in the jungle at Aya Healing Center. And I think that's a good lesson. It's one of, one of those really good real life lessons I'm taking from this uh, shamanic initiation retreat. And i um, thankful to be here. I'll see you later. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like or subscribing to the channel.